Hey everyone, I am so excited for today's video because in front of me we have the all new Oppo Find N2 Flip. This is the first overseas launch of this foldable product and I am so excited and honored that Oppo partnered with me on this video. Let's unbox it. Ooh, okay. Here we have the device. Inside we have the power brick. This is the 67 watt super voc charger, which means we're gonna get some fast charging. We also have the cable. We have a clear case, which is pretty awesome. I can't wait to see this. Oh, no way! This is very nice looking. We also have some accessories to unbox. Let's do it. Let's start off with the Oppo Find N2 Flip portable case. This has a handle. Oh, this is beautiful. This has a nice purple, which obviously matches the color. That is a nice feel. Oh, oh, it has a handle. It has a little handle. This is so cute. Let's test it. Can we flip it still? Yes, we can. Oh my God. Hi, but we're not done yet. We have something else. Is this a wallet? Okay, this is pretty cool. You can also put like your cards, your credit cards, your ID. I think personally for me, this is the cutest case I've ever seen. It is probably gonna be my go-to, but I love that we have options. Like, come on. I'm obsessed with it. So right off the bat, I love the color and I love how easy this is to open. Obviously, the first thing that I see is the size of this front display. This is the largest display on a foldable device. This is a 3.26 inch AMOLED screen. This has a 17 by nine vertical layout compared to the Flip 4, which has a 1.9 inch cover screen and a horizontal layout. And honestly, I can't wait to see what I can do with it. All right, so let's take a look at the crease. I know that is one of the biggest things when it comes to foldables is okay but what about the crease i'm looking at it and it's almost invisible to me but i'm actually very impressed so far so this has a teardrop shaped hinge 2.0 which essentially eliminates the crease and gives us a flawless screen the n2 flip has 400,000 folding tests as well as up to 20 degrees celsius low temperature folding test and a 1.2 meter drop test should we test that out? No. Let's turn it on and set it up, shall we? Looking at this straight on, I can't believe that this is a foldable device. This looks so good and it feels really good too. Hello. I'm honestly very impressed so far. The screen looks incredible. It's a pretty flawless screen. It feels so good to open and close. For the unlock method, we have the fingerprint, the face, as well as the password. I'm gonna do fingerprint, but before that, it makes you set up a lock screen password, private. And here on the side is the fingerprint sensor. Oh, <gasps> we're in. Now that the screen's actually turned on, I do not see a crease. It's almost invisible. This is shocking. Look at it. Oh my gosh, this is so nice. This front display is absolutely impressive. I haven't even done anything except look at it yet. Before we really dive into testing this out, I wanna do a comparison to the Flip 4. I have been using this a lot the past couple of months. I absolutely love the Flip 4 and I can't wait to see how it compares to the Oppo Find N2 Flip. Right off the bat, you can obviously tell that there is way more real estate on the Oppo Find N2 Flip. This is actually the only vertical cover screen of any flip phone on the market. It's cool because I'm able to respond to messages, browse apps, answer calls, and look at photos all from the main screen. And most importantly, for my job, I can take selfies without cropping. But let's take a look at the inside, shall we? The Oppo, that opened nicely. For the inside screens, we have some new features so that we can fully utilize these displays. The main screen is 120 hertz, 6.8 inch AMOLED with LTPO. This is basically a low temperature polycrystalline oxide. It's a type of technology used in OLED displays that allows your screen to operate at variable refresh rates, all while using less battery than your standard OLED displays. Pretty cool. This does also have 500 nits brightness with 1600 peak brightness and HDR 
AR10+. Plus. We also have a dual relay display, so this is great for third-party apps. I don't know about you guys, but I use my phone a lot for booking cars or ordering food or ordering groceries, and sometimes it's things that require me to track the status of. You know, I also use it to listen to music and watch shows, but what's really great, especially when it comes to being able to change the music or track my order, I can do all of that without having to open my phone. I can do it on this beautiful front huge display. One of the most important things to me is usually my text messages. So let's talk about text messages and what actually will show up on each screen. With the Find N2 Flip, the vertical layout, we actually can have text message list up to seven lines. With WhatsApp messages, we can preview up to five lines. We have the full selfie preview and we have the control center with up to nine switches. Whereas on the Z Flip 4, we have text message list with only two lines, WhatsApp message preview with only two lines and the chopped selfie preview. And and the control center with only three switches. So if you're like me and you are in chats all day long with your friends, you know, you're gonna wanna see more. I'm gonna wanna see what's happening. So it is nice having that extra real estate on the find and two flip. Okay, the hinge. Let's talk about it. This has the flexion hinge technology. So this is the most compact and lightweight of any foldable smartphone yet. The screen is also designed with a new lamination technique, which brings the display closer. Compared to the Flip 4, this has a U-shaped hinge, and with the water drop shape in the N2 Flip, this allows for a larger bending radius, which lessens screen deformation and the crease. So it's kind of crazy thinking about how just a simple thing, such as hinge technology, can have such a drastic effect on not only the look, but also I feel like the use and the feel of these foldable devices. I mean, this feels smooth. This is a smooth action. With the water drop hinge on the Find N2 Flip, this is tightly bound after folding, whereas with the Galaxy Z Flip 4 and the U-shaped construction, you can notice there is a large gap after folding. I usually don't get into the specifics when it comes to the hinge technology, and yes, I told you the difference between the Oppo Find N2 Flip and the Flip 4, and while that all is so great and it means probably a lot more to some of you than me, all I can tell you is what I see in front of my face and this crease is basically invisible on the N2 Flip. It is very, very impressive. All right, let's talk about my favorite thing when it comes to these phones, cameras. For the rear cameras, we have a 50 megapixel main camera and we also have an eight megapixel ultra wide. And for the front selfie camera, which is usually the camera I'm using the most, this has a 32 megapixel 21 millimeter F 2.4 aperture lens. The selfie camera also allows you to use a mode called flex form. With this mode, this allows for the screen to be set at any angle between 45 and 110 degrees. I've been super into making short form content and a lot of the times when I'm traveling, and on the go, I never have a tripod. So the fact that I don't actually need to have one because the phone can be a tripod itself. So not only does this make it super easy to take pictures and take videos, it's also very practical, very fun, and very, very cute. Oh, did I mention I can also control it with hand gestures? Tyler, you're fired. I don't need you. No, I do. Please don't leave me. <laughs> Using my foldable device as a tripod isn't necessarily new, but the fact that we now have better cameras on the Oppo device, it really does make a difference when you know, you're trying to post high quality content on all platforms. Here's a photo comparison between the Flip 4 and the Oppo Find N2 Flip. And here's a video comparison. All right, now we are testing out in the little tripod mode, a little bit of a video. I actually like that there's like a red button right here and then the pause is separate. Whereas on the Samsung, the screen has like the pause and the stop. And here is where I can also flip the screen. And now, we are in waist level mode. We are now testing out the back cameras with the video. We tested out the front. I am very impressed with the big front display, the big screen. I can see myself completely, whereas on the Flip 4, I basically can only see my nose like to right here. And on this screen, I can see everything. With waist level framing, I can switch the position of the preview to the bottom half of the screen in flex form mode. And I can use it as a waist level viewfinder for those low angle photos without having to bend over. And when you're in your 30s, you don't want to bend over because your back hurts. That's correct. Yes. <laughs>
so bad, <laughs> so, so bad. One of the main things that prevented me from using the Flip 4 as my main device was battery life. I am constantly on my phone and if I have to, you know, stay connected and stay charging all day long, it's not necessarily ideal. The Galaxy Z Flip 4 has a 3700 milliamp hour battery with a 25 watt quick charge. The Oppo has a 4300 milliamp hour battery with 44 watt SuperVoc and you can get about 34% in just 15 minutes and 100% in 57 minutes. Should we test it? This is one of the cutest things. This is called camcorder mode, where you hold it like this. It's so cute. Oh, actually, this is also very convenient if I'm vlogging because it's easier to kind of hold this way. Can you see me in the video? I can also see myself. That's us. Camcorder mode. This looks really good. Oh, I love it. Into the thick of it. I had a really fun day out and about with the Oppo Find N2 Flip. This is such a game changer. I'm not gonna lie to you. I think the most impressive features, besides the battery life, having all day battery life in a foldable device is a game changer, but the front display, having this large vertical display was a game changer for taking pictures, for taking videos, and just overall kind of like making content. It was really, really fun. And not to mention, I was getting a lot of notifications. I was able to reply to texts, reply to WhatsApps, you know, see things that were happening and I didn't have to open my phone. It was pretty shocking comparing this to the Galaxy Flip 4. I mean, I love the Flip 4. I was using it before this, but now comparing them side by side, the crease. It's just, this technology is absolutely incredible. I mean, even Tyler, who was helping me film, he was like, I cannot see it at all. Like, I know it's there, but I can't see it. And it really is very, very impressive. It is basically an almost flawless screen. So overall, I am very impressed. Uh, it's really great having all day battery life that can actually keep up with my lifestyle. The camera quality was great and the device is not only cute, this purple is so nice, I now also have a really cute case to carry it along. So I am a huge fan. So those were just my initial thoughts and first impressions of the Oppo Find N2 Flip. Let me know in the comments if you wanna see any more content on this. Thank you so much to Oppo for partnering with me on this video. This was a blast to make. Make sure you guys subscribe because we have some more content coming soon. Nice flip.